channel today's Zara haul is very exciting it is my first proper transitional fall haul as opposed to my last one which was a lot more formal when you're spending your money on clothes like these and you putting all this effort into looking good looking stylish or just simply looking well put together I think something that is so underrated and often forgot about is finishing off your outfit the right way. And what I mean is you want to smell as good as you look, okay? So I just wanted to share with you guys some scents that I've been loving. And the ones that I'm going to share with you guys today are actually from Dossier. Dossier is actually a website that creates perfumes and colognes inspired by your favorite brand name perfumes and colognes. So think like Baccarat Rouge by 40, which I think they have back in stock right now actually. Um, YSL Libre, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and other really popular, great smelling scents like that. They take the notes from those perfumes and colognes and put them together for you in a lot more affordable version. I don't know about you, but I don't have $350 to go drop on a bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540 whenever I feel like it. So that's kind of where Dossier comes in. You are getting the exact same scent and same notes that you would find in that perfume in their inspired version of it. The first one that I picked up, which I think is actually perfect for fall weather, is Floriental Cedarwood, and this is inspired by Mugler's Alien, which is an oldie but goodie, okay? This one I think is perfect for fall because it's so like warm and alluring and inviting and just, it gives you the warm, cozy kind of feeling that you love to have during fall, so. I am loving this one. This one, you only need one spray. This thing lasts all day. I'm really impressed with the quality. And the next one I have is Floriental Coconut, which is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. This to me is more of like a holiday perfume. So if you're going on vacation or um, more of a daytime perfume as well, it wears like an eau de toilette, but Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc is so popular and for good reason because it smells so good. You do get a little warmth in this one. So I'm also loving this perfume. Dossier did provide me with a discount code for you guys. So if you want to go shop there, inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 and save some coin, then you can use my discount code that I'll leave right here on the screen. I will also leave it linked down below like I do with everything else. And thank you so much to Dossier for partnering with us on this video. And let's get into these outfits. Okay, let's start with the hat because she's a statement and I know that you want to hear about it. I do not actually currently own a proper bird and I thought that it was time that I included it into my slew of accessories. <laughs> I saw that Zara just came out with these berets and I had to have one. I had to have the black because it's the most traditional and I feel like they pair so well with so many different things. And you guys know me by now, I like to pair things together that are not expected. So I did pair it together with this t-shirt that has some text on it. And I love this just classic black and white t-shirt, black text. I think that this is a great staple for my wardrobe because I can pair this t-shirt with so many things. I can pair it with slacks, with jeans, with skirts. I just think that a basic good quality white tee is great for your wardrobe all year round. And it is long enough for me to like tuck in and kind of pull out a little bit. So I do love that aspect of it. This beret I got in a small to medium. I have a small head and it's kind of hard for me sometimes to get hats that fit me properly because I have such a small head. So I liked this beret a lot because I was able to kind of like tuck it into itself and make it a little bit smaller. It also expands quite large for a small, in my opinion. It has that sort of wool, furry texture. There's so many ways that you can wear these berets also. I just have it sort of like just behind the front of my hairline, but you could push it further back. You could also wear it where it's kind of like to the side and on the front of your forehead. I do have a big forehead, but I'm not insecure about it. So she's out for the world to see. I got the t-shirt in a large because I really wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. I wanted to be able to tuck it in. The thing that I will say about this t-shirt is it does not fit like a typical um, 
oversized t-shirt. I would say that it's a little bit shorter at the waist actually, but it is long enough for sure to be able to tuck into pants and skirts and things like that. So I really hate when Zara does that. It's like, can you just give us the t-shirt in like a full size version of a regular t-shirt? That's really what I want in my life. I move. And I thought that it would be a really fun twist to pair this t-shirt and beret with some slouchy trousers that I picked up. They are high-waisted, they are a paper, the top of them are quite paper bag-like, which I love. These trousers that I'm wearing, they are a looser fit. I did get them in a large. If I wanted a little bit of a more fitted look, I could definitely get away with wearing a medium, but these trousers aren't really meant to be fitted in that way. They're meant to be cinched in at the waist and sort of balloon out and be loose and, and kind of um, slouchy. So I'm glad I went with the large because they fit how they're meant to fit. These trousers are perfect for wearing in the office. I think that they're stylish also and very comfortable. Another great way to wear these trousers would be to um, put them together with either a crew neck sweatshirt and kind of like roll up the sleeves or even a fuzzy knitted sweater, like a turtleneck knitted sweater. That would also be great just to wear out or to wear. You will notice a pair of sock boots throughout the video and with that outfit and believe it or not, I did not own a pair of sock boots before this video. Who am I? So I knew that it was time I needed this because I know they're gonna be a staple in my wardrobe and these are something that I don't think will ever go out of style and if they, even if they did, I wouldn't even care because I love them so much. I picked up these sock boots from Zara and I'm gonna get in there so you can really see the material and the back of the boot. I love that detail on the back. Just your simple traditional sock boot. Here's the top of it. Has a little tab right here. Originally, I ordered these in an eight and I don't know if I'm, I guess I'm in between sizes since I had kids. I must be an eight and a half or something, but they were, they fit me, but they were just a little too fitted. And I think with sock boots or any kind of boots really, in my opinion, it's a good idea to at least size half a size, if not a full size up, because you wanna have room for your feet to move around and be comfortable, especially if you're gonna be wearing socks. So I did return the eight and got them in a nine. And I'm so happy that I did because they are so much more comfortable. The heel is not too bad. And while we're on the topic of shoes, I thought I would show you the other pair of shoes that I picked up. So I got these loafers and I did get them in a US size eight. I am not typically a loafer girl, but I saw these and I really wanted them because I think sometimes when you're putting fall outfits together, it's nice to have a little bit more of a dressier shoe instead of like a Doc Martin boot or you know your black Converse sneakers or some heels. Sometimes you just want a nice classy but flat shoe that you can wear to whatever different occasions. So I did get these in a size eight. I kind of wish that I had gotten them in a nine, which I was going to do. I was gonna size up anyways, because these are quite narrow on the feet. So if you have wider feet, then you definitely need to size up in these for sure. They are quite tight, quite fitted, and they're meant to be, but you don't want them to be uncomfortably tight. Okay, getting into clothing, this is yet another item that I've seen many times that I was attracted to, but I kept passing up. Now I know to just listen to my gut when I keep passing by something, and it is this gorgeous satiny leopard print skirt. It has a very olive undertone to it, which is what I love about it. A lot of the times with a print like this, you see a lot of orangey um, browns in it. And I love that this had some olive tone in it. So I could wear this with a knit turtleneck sweater. I could wear it with this t-shirt and maybe a blazer thrown over with either sock boots or the loafers that I just showed you. I think that there are so many different ways that you could wear this skirt. It is scalloped at the bottom, so it does come up higher on the sides there. And I did get this skirt in a large. Okay, I have another skirt to show you guys. It's this ruched olive tone skirt, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's more of like a canvasy woven material. I love this skirt. I love the tone of it. 
It is very tight, uh, but it's not like uncomfortably short. So I think that this would look really great with that oatmeal crew neck knitted sweater that they showed it with on the website. I think that that is an adorable look and it would also look really great with the um, khaki or green, olive, whatever you want to call it, sock boots that they have. That is a to die for outfit and I actually saw somebody on Instagram wearing it together and I loved the way that it looked. I did get this one in a large and it's very tight. I'm going to let you know right now, even in the large, it's very tight. It's supposed to be a tight fitted skirt. Okay, moving on to a dress, which is very exciting. I saw this on the website and as soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted to try it. Let me know what you guys think, but I feel like this is very Kim Kardashian inspired style. I do love the cream color of this. It has a great side detail on both sides so you can make it tighter. Um, but I love that added detail and it's a very nice modest neckline, which is very flattering. The back of it is ruched and it has a zipper down the back. And then the bottom has a split at the end of the skirt there. I did actually stay true to size when I got this because I saw it in the store before I ordered it and I could tell that the large would have been too large and because of how stretchy the material is, I knew that it was, would be better to stay true to size and get a medium, so definitely keep that in mind. This is a great dinner dress, it's a great event dress and you could wear it to work if you threw a blazer on over it because if you threw on a blazer you wouldn't see the cutouts on the side. You can definitely get away with wearing this to work and then drinks after work, hello! Out of everything that I got, I think that this next piece is probably what I was most excited for when making this video. It's this blazer. I first ordered this blazer in a large because I really wasn't sure how it was going to fit, but it did say fitted, which is like a tailored style. So I was thinking in my head, okay, I should just get a large because I really want to get the oversized but fitted look. Well, I sent that one back and got a medium because the large was just too large and here's why. It has very exaggerated shoulder pads, which I love, but in the large, I just felt like it was too exaggerated and it was like swallowing me up. <laughs> so I love the fit of the medium. It's a beautiful brownie olive tone color. So I think this, this will be very easy to wear with browns, with blacks, creams, and just, I think that this is gonna be a staple for me for sure. The buttons are black, which I love. The lapel is not too wide. It's actually, it actually feels a little bit thinner, which I also love about this. It has two buttons in the front, and then I don't think that these pockets are real. Can you cut the seam? No, they're not real pockets. The back of it has these nice darts and seam, so it is quite tailored, which is always in fashion, but especially in fashion right now. If you notice in fashion shows and all the fashion that's going on right now, you're seeing a lot of tailoring. And also it just, it's always in style. It's never gonna go out of style. So this is to me the perfect sort of in between. Okay, I did, I did pick up another green item and it's these green seamless shorts. I didn't get the top just because I, don't know if you guys remember, but last year Zara had these seamless like leggings and shorts and things and they had matching crew necks in the same colors. And I am just hoping and praying that they come out with a crew neck or a sweatshirt or something in this exact forest green color. This forest green is gorgeous. It's perfect type of green for fall. I did get it in a medium to large because the small just won't fit. This next one is a dress that I've been eyeing for quite a while and it is this green strappy mini dress. I love the different fabrics on this dress and I love the style of the high low in the front. This can be used to tie around your neck, which is great, but I, I just love the mixture of fabrics in this dress and I had really high hopes for this dress, but the fit is just ridiculously in short, okay? Like, I'm pissed at Zara for not making this a little bit longer. This to me, in my opinion, is shorter than that green, swirly green dress. 
I did get this one in a medium. I don't really think that sizing from a large to a medium can have that much of a difference in the length of the dress. But honestly, you just have to have no curves for this dress to be long enough on you because if you make the slightest bend forward, the world will see your entire butt. If there are real bodies out here, Zara. We need you to do better. Do better. I got this in a medium because I knew that if I got a large, it would be a little bit too loose around my rib cage, small waist area. And um, the medium fit me beautifully up top. The straps are a little loose, so, you know, there's something weird going on with the length of these. The back of it is supposed to be very low, so that's okay. But it did sort of fix that by adding this middle piece, which you can tie around your neck. And I loved the idea of wearing this dress under that blazer that I just showed you earlier. The next one I got is this knitted turtleneck top with three quarter length sleeves. I think that this is a great basic, especially if you're working or you are someone that likes to layer things like these under your coats, your jackets, your blazers. This is a great option. It looks really great with pencil skirts and trousers and things like that. It's just, you know, kind of a basic, your black knit turtleneck. Can't really go wrong with something like that. Okay, this one I'm gonna show you is this black um, loose neck turtleneck, really adorable cropped long sleeve. Now, there's a few things about this that I don't like. Number one, I know that this is supposed to be sort of like loosely hanging on your hands, but I like to have some sort of structure or cuff at the end of my sweater so that when I scrunch up on the sleeves, it'll stay put. This one you cannot do that with, so it's not quite as versatile as I would like for it to be. But that being said, it does look great just hanging over your hands. Another thing that I did not like about it is how cropped it is. It sort of like doesn't really give you the impression that it's gonna be that cropped, but once you put it on, it's very cropped. A little too cropped for my liking anyways. So I had the vision of pairing this with that leopard print skirt that I showed you guys earlier, but it's just too cropped and the skirt is not high-waisted. So I can't like make it meet in the middle and in a spot where I feel comfortable wearing it. So I love the idea of this sweater, but I just don't think it's gonna work if I'm being honest. And I because of how cropped it is, I just don't think that I would reach for it, but it's really adorable and it might work for one of you. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to use that dossier code to get your discount on your perfume purchase, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.